Good morning everyone, it's Lily here. Welcome to my channel. So today's video is, it's a pretty serious video and I actually really have struggled for quite some time with making this. Um, mostly out of embarrassment, however, life goes on, you have to get over things and you know what, I'm not the only one with this problem, I'm sure that there are, well, it's fact, there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of people who have this issue or similar issues to this. So what am I talking about? Alopecia. About six years ago, I was diagnosed with alopecia. I had like round spots and my hair just started falling out and like I would have a bald spot here and then I would get one around the same place on the other side and I would even get them up at the front of my hairline. Uh, let's see. I do know that having stress and a lot of stress in your life definitely is not good for alopecia and it can cause it to flare up, fall out, whatever you, however you want to put it. But so I haven't had any issues and I would say about a year and this year or the later half of this year I should say has been very trying and hard for me and definitely the stress it's catching up with me big time and so my alopecia has started acting up again now when it started it was just small spots like in the back as you can see here it's gotten much bigger and there are several little up here's kind of an area there we go there's one there we have another one so emotionally obviously it's something that's very hard to deal with especially being a girl I've worked very hard for a long time at you know growing out my hair and trying really hard just to take care of it and that doesn't really make too much of a difference when it comes to the alopecia though obviously having your hair your whole body your scalp everything in better health is always better for you but it will not prevent hair from falling out if you have alopecia and it wants to fall out it's just going to fall out so here are some ways that you can deal with it and try to hide it and so I'm just going to go over a few of those with you guys now one thing contour powders bronzers so here I have two different kits and what you want to do is you want to find one that's going to be closest to your hair color so for me it's going to be in this Ulta kit here and I'm actually going to use the powder called Goddess Bronzer and I'm just going to swirl my contour brush in there and this is by Real Techniques and so I'm just going to go to the area where there is no hair and I'm just going to kind of start lightly blending some of the powder onto my scalp. Now what this is going to do is if your hair does move, obviously you're not gonna have that super brightness of your scalp showing. Now there are a couple different ways that you can do this. You can use a bronzing powder, you can use if you have a contour stick, you can use that. And I mean, again, just same thing, come into the area, kind of fill it in. 
And then two, what you can do, because this is light and it's, well, obviously you can see that it's super light. So while that's still tacky and still wet, I can just, again, kind of put more of that powder over that. And it doesn't hide it, but what it does is you, you can have some movement to your hair. And I mean, it's just, it's not as obvious. Obviously makeup, it, it's not hair. So then another thing what you would do is just take a little bit of hairspray and mist over it to kind of let that set. You can also use a makeup setting spray. Hairspray really does just kind of work better too because then you can get some of your hair to kind of stick into it. Another thing that you can do, um, like with this spot, this one's one of my worst ones. It's the biggest and obviously one of my biggest fears is like being outside and the wind blows. Woo. Hey, now everyone can see the reflection in the side of my head. So what I do is take, move the hair out of the way, uncover the spot completely. And then what you can do is you can get some super bond hair glue. This stuff does wash out just with regular shampoo and conditioner, although it will hold until you wash it out. So that's really amazing. And so what I do with that is I just put a dab on my finger and then just kind of lightly start rubbing a thin layer of it over the bald spot. Now, before the glue can dry, what you're going to want to do is take a comb and take a very thin section of your hair. So really just enough to cover it and press that right down into the glue. So now, you know, my hair is covering it. And even if I, you know, flop around, everything like that, that spot remains covered. My hair still moves, so it's not going to make your hair look fake. Um, or like you've, you know, tried to put in extensions or something like that. I don't recommend trying to clip extensions above or below the area and definitely gluing them to your scalp does not work very well either. I have tried all of that. As I said, this is an issue that I have been battling with for several years and it's not constant. But by doing those little things, you know, now instead of being forced to wear my hair down, I can pull it back. I can, you know, do little things with, oh, I didn't even notice that spot there. Or is that the one I showed earlier? I'm not sure. Well, anyways, that was just a few tips to kind of, you know, help hide the situation. And as I said, just give you a little bit more confidence and not feeling, I guess, for me, it's feeling exposed. Like when, when you think of a woman and her hair falling out, you know, Usually it's like some hormonal thing or it's just because you're old and you're getting thinning hair. Being a young mother, being very into beauty, being an esthetician and makeup artist, I... Mentally have a very hard time and emotionally obviously have a very difficult time dealing with stuff like that. And as I, sure, as I said, I know I'm not the only person out there who battles with this issue. It's not easy. And people are mean. Sometimes people can really be bullies. Which is horrible. But please know if you are someone who, you know, is dealing with alopecia or hair loss for any reason at all, you are not alone. And... You know, there are little things that you can kind of do to camouflage the situation. I will be making a few more videos 
connected to this with other ways of dealing with it as well. Um, four years ago, actually, I had to wear a wig for a while because this whole front section like this was completely gone. And so it was either wear a wig or a hat. And anyone who's even worn a wig just for costume fun knows you really need something to attach it around and hold it to the front of your hairline. So that made a lot of difficulties for me. But I found ways around it. And, you know, as with anything in life, you can do two, one of two things. You can emotionally let it destroy you and you can just throw your hands up and say, I give up, you know, hate yourself or feel bad about yourself or you find ways to cope and to deal with it. And I've been down both routes. So just knowing how difficult this is and can be, I encourage anybody who... If you are dealing with alopecia, hair thinning, or hair loss in any way, please know that you are not alone and that there are tons of things that you can do, as I said earlier, to camouflage the issues and to make yourself feel better. Be careful about things that are out on the market. There are not products that are going to grow your hair back overnight. If you do have alopecia, obviously using things like roguing, things like that, it is not, your hair will grow back when it grows back. There are things that will make your hair grow thicker or even fuller. It'll have a thicker to fuller appearance. But as far as the hair that is on your head already, nothing is going to magically change it, especially overnight. So yes, there are definitely things that you can do to camouflage the situation and just to make it a little easier to deal with. I really hope that you found this video helpful and useful. As always, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. I always answer back, so I look forward to hearing from you. As always, hit that like button. If you haven't, please subscribe. And as I said earlier, I will be making more videos about this subject. So if there are any questions that you want answered or anything like that, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.